Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for the great and mighty things that you have done in our life. He said, blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for you are good. Thank you for all that you have done in our life, in our families, in our place of work, in our going out, and in our coming in. We say, blessed be your holy name. Thank you, kings of kings. Thank you, the Lord of Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, our Father, for indeed you are a good God. Indeed, you have done what no man can do. You stood by us. You did what we couldn't do by our own. You gave us the strength we needed to part to walk through even the trial, the, the, the storms. You give us the strength. We say, blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Abba Father, for you have done, you done it once again in our life. Yes, you did it again and again, and you will continue to do it. We say, thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth and begin to thank the kings of kings for what he has done for you. I want you to thank him for he has done wonderfully well in your life. Thank you for the good health that he has given to you. Thank you for the provision that he has provided for you. Thank you for the protection that he has given unto you. Thank you for sending the angels to take charge over you. Just as I have said, in, it is written in Psalms 91 that he will send the angels to take charge over you so that you will not dash your foot. I'm talking your foot so that you will not by any means go astray, so that by, you will not by any means fall into the pit of the enemies, so that you will not by any means fall into the traps of the enemy. The angels, they were there, they guide you, they see you through. I say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the lives of our children. We thank you for the life of our loved ones. We thank you for the good health that you have given unto them. We thank you for preserving their life. We thank you. We thank you for you did not allow the plans of the enemy to manifest in our life. You did not allow the plans of the enemy to come to pass in our life. You you were the one that were protecting us. You were the one that was guiding us through. You were the one that, oh Lord, provided, that gave us that coverage. Yes, that coverage, that coverage, that coverage we needed. When it rains, when the evil rains, the evil rains, when it came down, oh Lord, you gave us the coverage, the coverage that you did not allow that evil rain to rain on us. We say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you this day. Thank you this day. Once again, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done in the month of January. We thank you for bringing, you brought us into the month of February, March, April, May. And now we are in the month of June. We say glory be unto your holy name. Glory be unto your holy name. Father, we thank you for the works of our hands. We're not manipulated for the works of our hands. Our job, we're not being taken by the enemies. We're not being we were not being thrown out according to the plans of the enemy, but you preserve our life. I say thank you. Thank you for that wonderful love. Thank you. You have done wonderfully, wonderfully well. I say blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For when it was like the load was up was too heavy upon us you lifted you took over you took over that burden you lifted the burden away from us we feel that that heaviness was too much on us but when you lifted the burden we feel the we we, we feel a different thing entirely it was like Oh, we say it likes heavy load was taken. Yes, heavy load. It was an heavy load and it was taken away from us. We say glory be unto your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We say blessed be, blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm reading from Psalms 3, Psalms 3 that says, Lord, how have, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him. There is no help for him in God. Father, so many people has risen up and said that there is no help for me. Imagine somebody sitting, imagine where they gathered and said there is no help. They 
professed, they, you know, they, 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 made it, they, they made this confession, they made this pronouncement towards you, say there is no help, that even as you are in God, they are saying, they did not say there is no help in man, but they were saying that there is no help in God. There is no help, no help for you, for you in God. What am I trying to say? Or what is this place is telling us? It's telling us that even while you were busy doing your own thing, that there were some other people that their prayer was that even as you 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 are in the presence of God, that you will not. You will not have a testimony, that you will not have a breakthrough, that you will not have that healing, that you will not have, that your heart desire will not come to pass. That was their prayer point. They cut at this, this very place, they have, in, he said, Lord, how they have increased. These people have increased in number. They know they are not, it's not, it's no longer a, an issue of one person they have increased in number doing what working against your prosperity working against your marriage working against your testimony working against your blessings who are these people but tonight we are asking god say oh lord arise 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 this first three said but you oh lord are a shield for me let god go go let god be a shield for you let god be a shield for you so that when they are throwing this arrow that even as you are in god that you will not have that you will not have help that help will not come your way that let god be a shield that when they fire this arrow that the shield will stop them from manifesting. I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Say, my father, my father, every arrow to stop me from getting help from you, oh Lord, take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is standing by your side, but he's praying these secret prayers. Is even when you tell the person, I'm going to church, and the person is saying what? He's saying, even in that church, even in God, you will not find help. What a prayer. I say, what a prayer. In this month of June, every evil prayer concerning me, every evil prayer concerning my family, it will not stand, neither will it come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7 has said so. We are saying that whosoever is projecting, is praying this evil prayer upon my life, upon my children, that even as I am in God, that I will not find help in God. That today, let that prayer become to nothing. Let it become nothing. Let it not stand. Let it not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and pray this prayer? Can you open your mouth and pray this prayer? It is important because even while you are there, you lose, perhaps you lose God and you don't know that the very person that is behind you, even when you are saying, I'm going to the house of the Lord, the person is also praying that even in the house of the Lord, you will not, even in the presence of the Lord, you are praying that let heaven open and they are saying let heaven close for you you are saying let doors open for me and they are praying say let his doors be closed tonight whosoever is praying that evil prayer i say lord arise and scatter them wherever that prayer is being made scatter them oh lord scatter them oh lord scatter them oh lord scatter them oh lord in the mighty name of jesus scatter them oh lord in the mighty name of jesus you say it is the month of walking with the lord walking in the light of life you are walking, you are moving towards walking in the light of light. And somebody is there standing, is saying, is laying a course, is putting the words into the atmosphere that even in this, even in God, that you will not, 
Otherwise, let me put it, let, let me make it clear. He's telling you that even in the light that you will not see. Yesterday, we were, the scripture made it very clear that, that one, one of the characteristics of light is for us to have a fish, for us to see. And someone is telling you that even as you are walking in the light, that you will not see where you are heading to tonight. We are saying it is a lie. We are saying no to such pronouncement. We are saying no to such pronouncement. Whosoever is pumping this kind of is pumping these kind of words into the atmosphere to walk against me. I say, oh Lord, arise and fight my battle in this month of June. Their prayer, their evil prayer will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When I say prayer, many of you are looking at me as if I don't know what I'm talking about. There are so many people that are saying, hi, hey, you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be with them. And you are not there. And they have, they, they, they have pick offense in that. And they have done what? They are praying secret, secret prayer. In the book of Ezekiel, he said, look, look at them. They have gathered. They have bind themselves. And they have done what? They, are, they, they have taken it upon themselves that they will neither eat nor drink. They are fasting. They are fasting against who? Against a fellow brother, against a fellow sister. They are fasting. See, they will not live. They will neither eat nor drink till they see evil, till they see you falling into the pit, till they see you and you, you are busy eating. You are busy eating when they ask you to fast and you are not fasting. When others are country, denying themselves food so that you will fall into their trap. Tonight, we are saying whosoever, wherever they are country, tonight, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cry to the Lord. I want you to cry once again to the Lord. And he's right here. He will hear you. And he will answer you. He will answer you. When we talk of this prayer, it might not be the kind of prayer that we are praying. It might be the one that are making incantation. Through their incantation, through the words, they call it rituals prayer. They call it rituals prayer. Rituals prayer. Yes. Perhaps you never heard something like that before. It's very common when it comes to the people that are worshiping uh, in the Buddhist. They know what it, they, they always have this, this particular prayer, rituals prayer. Perhaps it's the kind of prayer that they are doing in their kovu. Perhaps it's that kind of one that they use, they use uh, uh, all kinds of drinks, they pour libation and make that incantation. That even they say that there is no help for him in God. Imagine somebody is not saying that even in the, the place that you are, they are saying no help. They are projecting that there will be no help for you in God. Just to tell you the level that they have gone. So in this month of June, whosoever that he has come to that level, saying that I will not have help, even as I am walking in the light of life, we are saying no to that prayer. We are saying no to that ritual prayer. We are saying no to that incantation. We are saying no to that libation. We are saying no to that utterance. It will not stop. Neither will it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who 
whether it's, it's, it's very close to you, whether it's your loved ones, whether it's the person that you are eating together, whether it's the person that you are planning things together, and when you leave, is busy. The person is busy. Is busy. Is busy planning evil. Is busy praying evil prayer. Is busy conducting another prayer after prayer. And we are saying, whosoever is praying prayer after my prayer, whosoever is praying evil prayer after my prayer, let the fire of God consume them in a very spot in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever is praying evil prayer after my own prayer, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are serving a living God, God that answered by fire. And we are saying tonight, whosoever is making evil prayer, be it a ritual prayer of any kind, for any purpose, for any yeah. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them wherever they are making that prayer. Be it in their coven, be it in their witchcraft world, be it in their altar, be it in their own shrine. We say, let the fire of God consume them, consume them, and consume their prayer and scatter that prayer. With the blood of Jesus, we render that prayer, prayer useless in the mighty name of Jesus. We render their prayer useless in the mighty name of Jesus. We render their prayer useless in the mighty name of Jesus. It is our mode of walking in the light of life. I walk in the light of life. Every evil prayer that the enemy is praying towards me, towards my prosperity, towards my my marriage, towards my relationship, towards my job, towards my finances, towards my health. Let the fire of God burn them, consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. As I'm walking in the light of life, let the light of life shine them out from that shrine, from that covenant, from that altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God start at them. Let the fire of God start at them. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are they saying that you will not succeed in this month of June? And we open our mouth and we pray. We say every power, all power, all power, any pow power of any kind rising up against me in this month of June. Hey, speak. Speaking evil, speaking evil, every tongue speaking evil, every tongue speaking evil, speaking evil concerning my blessings, speaking evil concerning my children, speaking evil, wherever they are making that pronouncement, we say, let the fire of God consume those tongues in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So you don't need to be afraid to move, to walk into the, to walk with light. Don't forget Jesus Christ said, he said, he said those that follow him will not walk in darkness. So you don't need to be afraid to walk in the light of life. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. When you walk with him, he said, I'm the light of the world. No, anyone that follows me will not walk in darkness. When you walk with him, you will not be in darkness. So every prayer in the dark room, every evil prayer in the dark world, it will not have effect upon your life. It will not have effect upon your children. It will not have effect upon that relationship. It will not have effect upon your ministry. It will not be effect upon your new age. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Matthew chapter 6. Verse 31 says what? He said, therefore, do not worry. Saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? What shall we wear? As you are walking in the light of life. Jesus is saying, do not worry. If that word is for you tonight, I want you to shout a louder amen. I say, if Jesus is speaking to you tonight, if that word, if that word, if worry of any kind was yours, was a thing of you, a thing that you carry in your mind, and Jesus is speaking to you this moment, he's saying, stop, drop this worry. If God, if Jesus is speaking to you tonight, just shout hallelujah. Just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to me. Say thank you, Jesus, for speaking to me. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to us. Father, I thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank him for speaking to you. If, if Jesus can direct his word to you, if this word is for you, open your mouth and say thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth and thank you. He said, do not worry. Saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? He said, for after all these things, Gentiles seek. For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you, that you need all these things. Your heavenly father knows everything that you need. In this month of June, your expectation will not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ knows that particular thing. He knows how important it is for you. It will not be cut short. It will not be destroyed. It will not be manipulated out of your life. It will not destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. To be sick. Seek first the kingdom of God. All what you need is for you to seek how you can align with this light of life, how you can walk with this light of life. He said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When you walk in the light of life, all other things shall be added unto you. That includes that particular prayer point of yours. Yes. I'm talking about that secret prayer point. I'm talking about that secret prayer point that you dare not mention it outside. I'm talking about your expectation. I'm talking about your expectation. It will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. They will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. As far as you walk in the light of life, forget about what tomorrow will bring, for tomorrow will surely take care of itself. Yes, Jesus Christ did not allow the 5,000 people for them to continue to be in hunger. What did he do? He used the little that was present to fit the number, the 5,000 people. And as such, he knows that they were hungry and they needed to eat. And he caused it to happen. He made it to happen that a little, loaf, little loaves of bread and some fishes 
can take care of that thousands, the thousands of people that were present there, man. So he knows what you need. He knows what you need. He will not allow you to go on thing. He will not allow you to suffer loss in the mighty name of Jesus. So one open your mouth and begin to declare, say in this month of June, I will not suffer lost in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not suffer lost in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. 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 In this month of June, I will not be rejected. In this month of June, I will not be rejected. I am here to announce it to you. If you used to be, if perhaps perfect you in the most past, that you, anywhere you go, that you were always continuously being rejected but tonight by the power and the authority of the Lord God Almighty you will no longer be rejected in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will not be rejected. 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 You will not be rejected, not be rejected. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. It is a special month. It is a special month. Oh, yes. I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, in this month, in this month of June, take away every, of, every worry of mine. Take away every issue that has been disturbing my mind, that has been disturbing my body, that has been disturbing my health, that has been disturbing my finances, that has been disturbing my relationship, that has been disturbing my marriage. Take away those issues. Take away those issues. Take away them. Take them out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take them out by fire. Take them out, O oh Lord. Take them out by fire. Take them out, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kandalikas. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Let's see what Proverbs chapter 3 says. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6. It says what? It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. In this month of June, may you trust in the Lord. For that is where your solution lies. May you trust in the Lord more, for he will surely take care of you. May you trust in the Lord than before because he will surely help you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. You said you know it all. But tonight, Jesus Christ is saying, the world has come and he's telling you, he's telling you, he said, trust in the law and all your with all your heart he did not say partially he did not say sometimes he did not say in most occasion but he says what he said with all your heart how do you measure your heart Is us saying simple is with all your understanding. Let it be God. It, go, it, it goes ahead to say, 
Never rely on what you think you know. You think you know it, but the scripture says do not rely on that. Mm. Do not real, do not rely on what you think you know, but follow Jesus Christ. Do not rely on things that you think you know them all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember the Lord in everything you do. In whatsoever you are doing, remember the Lord. Wherever you go, remember the Lord. Remember the Lord. in everything you do. And he will show you the right way for you that is looking for the right way. You that is looking for the right way. Remember the Lord and he will show you the right way. I said, remember the Lord and he will show you the right way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And he will show you the right way. Never let yourself think that you are wiser than you are. So that means the very day that you, you conceive it, that you are wiser than what you are, means trouble. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you, and he will show you the right way. Remember the Lord. Remember him. It really emphasizes on you. Remembering the Lord. I encourage you with the word of God tonight. Forget to remember your creator. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Never let yourself think you are wiser than you are. Simply obey the Lord and refuse to do wrong. If you do, it will be like good medicine. If you do, it will be like good medicine. Healing your wounds and easing your pains. If you remember the Lord, if you do, if you remember the Lord, he says, it will be like medicine. What happens with medicine when you take medicine? It heals. It says, if you do, It will be like good mercy, healing, healing your wounds and easing your pains. Honor the Lord by making him an offering from the best of all that your hand produces. Honor the Lord by making him an offering from the best of all that your heart produces. Hmm. May the Lord give you the grace to honor him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Honor the Lord by making him an offering from the best 
Lord is saying, the word has come to you tonight. Worry less. Honor the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, O kings of kings. If you do, your bonds will be filled with grain and you will have too much wine to store in it. If you do, if you honor God, if you honor God, your barn will be filled. Your storehouse will be full. I pray for you and I tonight that as we honor the Lord in this month of June, our barn will be enlarged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 11 says, Okay, from first 10, he said, Now therefore be wise, O kings, be instructed, do judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And you, and you perish in the way when the rot is kindled but a little. Say, so blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. As you align yourself, as you abide yourself, as you walk with Jesus, as you walk with God this time around, as you walk with God, he will enlarge you. He will enlarge you. He will enlarge you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want someone, I want someone here to open, to open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. It is time for you to open your heart and walk with God. As you do so, the reward will show up in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the reward will show up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 3. It's a trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Lean not on your own understanding. You know, this has been an issue. This has been an issue for many of us. We seem 
to lean on our own understanding. You want God to do it according to our own understanding. But the word of the Lord comes, the word comes this moment. It says, no, don't expect it to be according to your own understanding, but let it be according to God's will. Let it be according to the way God wants it. He said, and lean not on your own understanding. Because it says what? He said, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Acknowledge him. As you acknowledge him tonight, he will direct your path. As you acknowledge him today, he will he will direct your path. He will direct your path. He will direct your path. I say in this month of June, your path be directed by God in the mighty name of Jesus. He will direct your path as you lean on his own understanding. He will direct your path to where your blessings lies. He will direct your path to where your blessings lies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. When you, when you fear the Lord, when you depart from evil, makakakaya. Libra Cassiata, you will instantly, I say you will instantly become the most sought for. People will look for you for advice. People will look for you to execute the project. People will come around looking for you because you have said that he will enlarge your goals. You say your barn will be filled with grains. Mm. That means it will not, no longer be empty. Your storehouse will be filled. Your storehouse will be filled. I say, your storehouse be filled tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your storehouse will be filled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, my son, do not walk in the way with them. This is the year, this is the month of walking in the light of life. And the word has come to you. He said, my son, my daughter, do not walk in the way with them. Do not walk in the way with them. What did he say? Let me read from verse 14. He said, cast in your lot among us. Let us all have one. Pause. He said, my son, do not walk in the way in, in the in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. Keep your foot from their path. You that you want to associate yourself with everybody. The word has come for you this moment. He says what? He said, you should that you should not walk with them. You should not walk with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, for their feet run to evil. These people, their feet run to runs to evil. When you follow them, that means you, are, you will be drifted apart. You will be drifted to the side of the evil. You will not drift apart in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. He said, and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the, the net is spread Surely, in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They look secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for, for gain. It takes away the life of his 
owners. Amen. I don't know what is troubling you, but tonight, drop it. Drop it. Jesus Christ will pick it up from there in the mighty name of Jesus. So Jesus Christ will pick it up in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ will pick it up from there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged to walk in this light. Because in this light of life, that lies the solution. I say that solution of yours. I don't know the problem that you are facing, but the solution lies in you walking in the light of life. Who is this light of the world? Is Jesus Christ. So when you walk with Jesus Christ, the difference, the difference is clear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Mm. Say, for their feet runs to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. You will not be a victim in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will not be a victim of this man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dakaya. Rabakada. Libra. You that has been forgotten. You that has been rejected. I say that circumstances has been re revised. I see the very one that rejected you will return. I say they will return in the mighty name of Jesus. They will return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not fall into the net of these wicked people in the mighty name of Jesus. You that has been rejected, that circumstances has been changed. I say that circumstances have been revised in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. I want someone here to open our mouth and pray. Say, my father, my father, in this month of June, in this month of June, everything that brings disgrace, that brings shame, it will not come my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say it will not come my way. It will not come your way. It will not come my way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not come your way. They will not come your way. They will not come my way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you receive this word, as you treasure it, it will help you. You will be rewarded in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Not the plans of the enemy 
will not take me out from the light of the mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, their evil heart desire will not push me away. Don't forget that when we read that Psalm 3, he said they have increased in number, saying what? Saying that I will not find help in God. So we are praying tonight that whosoever is making such a statement, whosoever is presenting his or herself to hinder me, to hinder you and I, he said, let the fire of God consume them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of the Lord consume them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. For those, he said, for their for their feet runs to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. They will not shed your blood. They will not shed my blood. They will not shed the blood of your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Say, in this year, in this month of June, mm -hmm. they will not shed my blood, or neither will they shed the blood of my family member. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In this month of June, they will not shed my blood. Mm -hmm. This blood test, blood testing, soaking demons. They will not suck my blood. They will not suck my blood in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not suck the blood of any member of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not suck the blood of my children. They will not suck the blood of my spouse. They will not suck the blood. See, Kayata. They will not suck my blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever they are projecting, whatsoever they are saying in their heart, it will not happen. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever they are praying in it will not come to pass. It will not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will not come to pass. My blood, my blood, my blood shall not be spilled by the demons, by these wicked people. May they will not succeed to spill my blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bianet will catch them in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, their net will catch them. They will be the one to fall into that net in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of June, as you walk in the light of the Lord, your heart desire will come to pass. Your heart desire will be, will, will be executed, will come, will come to you. Without delay, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will God will grant it will grant your heart desire for you, so that it, you will be you will have reason to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare, say, my father, my father, in this month of June, in this month of June, I will not by any means be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not by any means 
be at the disadvantage and I will not be at that side. You will always be where you will have advantage over them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be at the valley where they are standing on the, on the top of the hill to fight you. No, you will be at the top of the hill. Let them be the one in the valley so that when you are facing them, you, they will know that they have faced somebody in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, kings of kings. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. But before we are going to pray, I want to pause here so that we can share our testimony before we run up with our prayers. I want to pause here so that we can share our testimony. Our testimony. Say so you will overcome by the word of your testimony. Yes. The Lord will give you your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. When you have your own testimony, don't keep it within yourself. Don't just keep it. It is for you to share it so that it will encourage others to walk in the light of life. Because when you walk in the light of life, you will have testimony to share. When you hear the testimony, don't just discard it. You need to take 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 the word of your testimony to encourage another person so that he will be able to withstand. He will be able to align himself proper in the light of the Lord so that he will be able to walk in the light of God in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So I will call on our sister here to share her testimony before we continue. Amen. Prophetess Miraba. Thank you so much, Nadi, for the privilege you have given me to share my testimony to the glory of God. I want to first of all thank God for this testimony. Seriously, it has been a battle, but God fought and we won, and He won for us. Amen. I want to thank you and mommy for being there because by my own strength, I don't think this testimony would have come to fulfill me. Mm. And I believe also that the testimony also is also like a teach, a lesson for others. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe everyone has been following up my deliverance from what the confession and everything. And it was time for me to go home and face that my fear. I would say my fear. Mm -hmm. Because if you are praying, praying from the background and you are not seeing the person, it's different from when you have to go and meet that person. And meet that person. Or like be one-on-one -on -one with your own enemy. Like it's, it was like another thing. It was not... <laughs> because it was really a very difficult one it was really a very difficult word because we have been praying and i thank mommy and daddy because they have been praying like mommy said the other day that the prayer they pray for us at the back is even more than what they pray for us when we are on the broadcast seriously the testimony, the prayers keep coming every day, the battle. It's really difficult for you to stay and fight your enemy in the same house. You are in the same house with your enemy and you have to fight and have victory. It was not an easy one. 
but I thank God for grace. So mommy and daddy were always there because sometimes I will feel discouraged. I'm in the house with my enemy and I have to battle and win her without any trace. Like when I went back home, it was really difficult. It was difficult, it was difficult. But I thank God, there's one thing that mommy always said. She told me when I was leaving Dubai, she told me one thing, when I was telling mommy this thing, I don't feel like going home. It's like, I should go and it's like, I should not go. But I have an assignment, I need to go. She said to me, she said, Mirabe, I'm telling you, this time it is going to be different. You will not come back the same way you went. I said, amen. I went home and <laughs> the, battle, the battle was really big. Everything was like, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Like my mother always tell me, my sister is permitted to get married, but me, I am not permitted. It was very clear. You are not supposed to get married, but your sister, she can get married. I was like, why is it that my sister can get married and me, I cannot get married? Why? She will not say, she said she has said it and that is it. And we know how all my deliverance has been. Yeah. And the man has been there also. But it looks shabbier than I expected. And the man has been there also. I am like, okay, how do I tell my mother that I have a man who wants to marry me and he's coming to visit my family? It was a difficult one because I know there is already a battle. On my side, on the man's side, it means the two of us, we are in the, bit, in the middle of a battle. I had to talk with my brothers and talk with everyone. I'm sure they got, the Lord was really directing me because I did not talk to my mother. And all the while I was communicating with mommy, mommy, this is how it is happening. I don't even know how to tell my mother that this person is coming because like the battle is just too much on me. It went on like that until one day my brother just came and said, ah, this man is coming and we want you to behave yourself. My mother was so angry. She said, she's with me in the house. And like that, I did not tell her and I told my brother. She said, she doesn't know how I managed to bring everybody on my side because everybody had been on her side. I sat quiet. I was only saying, oh God, you are the one who is going to bring this testimony because by my own power, <laughs> I don't know because I'm already tired. Finally, the man came. <laughs> finally, finally, the man came. And what we planned, that's just to tell us that the ways of God are not the ways of man. It was like, okay, you are in Cameroon, I'm coming to visit your family. And so that if you are not there, I will come back. I can come alone now knowing that the people know me so they will know who I am. But something happened that same, I say the God of the 11th hour, he appeared at the 11th hour because I was within and it was already six o'clock. Okay? The program was stated for seven o'clock. Six o'clock, I went home everywhere. There was just chaos everywhere. My brother's wife, they were holding, holding meetings upon me. I was like, what is happening? This one will call this one. Come on, let's go and talk. Then they, in short, at the end of the day, they changed the program that we made. Everything changed at the last, the, the last minute I was like, they finished making the meeting. They called me. This man cannot come this far and come and talk like this. They need to be done like this. Everything needs to work like this. I was like, but no, this is not the plan. He is coming for a visit. So why is this change? He said, no, it cannot be like that. It cannot be like that. I was like, I don't, I did not even know what to even do because I was just like in the middle. I don't know what is happening anymore. I went, I called mommy. I said, mommy, this thing, I don't even know how I want to tell this man because I don't even understand what is happening. It's already time that we've scheduled for the program. It was already seven o'clock. I said, I don't even know what my family is saying. Hey, you need to get this. You get to get this. I was just like, Mommy, I don't know what to do because I'm so ashamed. I don't know how the man would take this. I don't know. Mommy said, call him, tell him as it is, it is like that. I just make a call. He said, no, if it is like that, no problem. He, so he just like accepted everything. I was like, what? <laughs> I was calling my brother, you go and do this. It means I was planning in the middle of another plan. I was calling, please don't come. Don't do I thank God for Sister Mao was there. She was helping me on the other side because she had a Cameroon number that she would communicate on the other side. I said, look, you people should not come at this time. Things need to be arranged. In the seven, eight o'clock, I was still there, no shower. I was running up and down. I was like, 
in the dark. People were doing things in the dark with torch light. People were pointing torch to go and get down from. Others were going out of another, to another town to go and find something there. Finally, the man came. Everybody was, I was like, but this is not what we planned. It was just a mere visit. In the middle of the visit, I got married. <laughs> Like, like, in the middle, <laughs> all we said, they were turning and turning and turning. And at the end of the day, what? I was married. But something happened after. <laughs> after everything, they have done everything. It was like a wave. I can say the, the spirit of the Lord was there because it came like a wave. After that, it was like another wind blew them. And everybody was, oh, you came and stole a wife. You stole our daughter. <laughs> You came and stole a wife. How we wouldn't have done this? They say we wouldn't have done this. Normally, normally we don't have to do this. But how come? How come that they had already done it? And when the time came for me to give the wine as a tradition to my husband, the atmosphere was tense. You could feel that the, the Bible said the siege is broken. I have escaped. I escaped. It was broken because you could feel the hotness of the environment. You could feel that there was a wave. You could feel that there was a wave because everywhere was staying. My mother was there shouting, this one like this, I'm putting her down. She said, no way. Where did you come from? I have said this, your people, they eat people. And my, my brother was said, I told my brother, I don't marry, I don't marry. Anywhere, I don't, I don't marry, I don't marry. They were outside, they said, come, they stole it. I said, ah, this is like this, I don't marry, I don't marry. Anything your people are doing. But the Lord, as, after that event, the Lord had to show that he was there. They came attacking. That same night where sleep, I was like, my husband, he just woke up at the middle of night. He was fighting. You could see him fighting physically. I get power. That day I knew that I am really strong. Just imagine me what <laughs> he was fighting in his dream until physically he was really battling. I held him. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I held him tight to me because I just thank God that I was there. Because the way he was jumping out of the bed and he was not even conscious, he was his name's dream fighting and still fighting to physical. He was still fighting to fish physical until when he, re when he regained himself, he realized that he was being held. Then he held his bread. He said, they came. He said, they came. They told me, who brought you? Who called you here? How managed did you reach here? But I thank God at the end of the day, <laughs> I am Madame Governor. <laughs> So I just want to thank God. I want to thank mommy and daddy because at least I don't even know how to even say this testimony. You just told him, okay, go and come back and complete everything. Because there was nothing they could do again. They have already done it. They have already done it. And like the name of the Lord was glorified and everything came to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful. Amen. And yes, I can see Fiki at the back. <laughs> Daddy, I want to say something. I just want to say, sorry. I yes, want to say something. Ahead. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it was really a difficult one. And the Lord is really laying in my heart to write a book. When your adversary, the devil, is a member of your household, mm. it is very, when you are fighting your enemy that is in the house, you have to be very careful. Because, like, I was holding myself. I was holding myself. Like, mommy was saying, ah, mommy was saying, Mira, you try. You are in that house and there is no problem. I said, mommy, I'm just minding my own business. It was really difficult. 
the manipulation was just just woke up one day and I am feeling like putting salt in the toilet because they are reading your mind. It was what I was planning to do. She, she just woke up and told me, and she got a bag of salt that she did not put it. I am feeling like throwing anointing oil around this compound. She got one liter that she did not use it. I was just watching. She was like doing things to, to hear what I would say, but I was just watching. I was doing my own behind her back. She would buy her salt. I would go and take the salt anointed and do the work behind her back. I, she will buy the oil. <laughs> I will be the one to take it and anoint it and I'm doing behind her back. At the end of the day, the back of salt and the oil was standing there. They have, it's still there standing. Mm -hmm. And what she said she wants to do with it, she did not do it. Amen. That's oh, it's, amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Wow. Our God is great. Amen. You know, it's just a kind of easy as she put it, and we can just hear it like perhaps it was just easy like that. It wasn't easy. You know, when as you just put it, when the battle was from from your own from your own household, very strong one, very close one. You know, the battle was very was not easy, but God made it easy. So that's yeah. why when we are praying and when, when instruction is being given to you, when you follow the instruction, God makes everything easy. When you align yourself, just as we are now, we say, okay, it's the month of walking in the light. When you allow yourself and the scripture say, do not lean into your own understanding. When you want to do it like, I know it all. I know exactly what I'm doing. In that Matthew, Matthew chapter, that Matthew chapter six, it says, "Do not say, do not lean to what you know. Do not say that I want to follow what I know. You don't know it, and you say you know it. What do you know? And that's why many of us, when they are giving us instruction, we don't follow the instruction. We go about doing our own thing. At the end of it, it's not working the way it's supposed to be, and we feel, we feel that uh, we feel bad. Yes, that one is sure you will feel bad." But it's not according to the way it's supposed to be. It does not mean that it was not the will of God or it was not God that was speaking. So you need to follow. You need to align yourself. You know, don't forget what the scripture says that when you walk, Jesus Christ says, I am the light of the world. If you, anyone that follows me will not walk in darkness. Anyone that follows me will not walk in darkness. So if you follow him diligently, you will get a reward. So, as she said, it was perhaps just an in introduction that before we know it, the traditional marriage has already come far. That is what God can do. <laughs> that is what God can do. The traditional marriage that was not prepared, even the, the husband did not prepare for the traditional marriage, but the way God turned things around, the way God turned things around, he, he did it in a way that they cannot by any means put asunder in it. They cannot stop it. They cannot stop the flow. They cannot stop the flow of the, the spirit of God. Because when God says, yes, no matter how they gather, it doesn't matter. The, the power of God must surely prevail. So it was the manifestation of God's power, God's will. He let it happen. This is the very person that the situation that they say that you will not marry. It was not a hidden stuff. It's not all about perhaps you hear it through the prophecy that said you will not marry. It's something that they used to tell her physically, right? It's something they yeah, used to tell you. For the past 15 years. For the past 18 years. 15, for the past 15 years. years. They are saying, others can marry, but you, 
you will not marry. So as you are listening to the testimony, I want you to really understand what, what was happening there. They are saying others can marry, but you cannot marry. For the past 18 years, That means they are doing everything to make sure that that marriage will not work. But the way God turned it around, supposing perhaps he came, just show himself and return, they will have used, or perhaps he will have created a room for them to operate. But the way God, God is working, God works it in a, in a way that when he comes there, the program changed. And they did the very vital one or the very important one that they normally do in when while conducting the traditional marriage. And which with that one, the marriage has already secured. So I say congratulations to you once again. Congratulations to you and congratulations to all of us. Yes, we thank God it all come to pass. We thank God. Amen that the, the 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 oh i don't know how i will describe it but we thank god that it was successful Amen. yes we are saying a big congratulation and and congratulation once again and i pray as Amen. god has already established his power in that marriage as god has already done it mm. Nothing will, mm. nothing will tamper with it. It is God's marriage. Amen. You know, there's one thing I always, there was a time I always, when God is involved, when God is involved, it works it out in a different way. It's mm. not according to the will of the people. The scripture that we read says, it said their foot, their feet is directed to the evil. So if you follow them, they are taking you to the evil part. But we always pray, we will not follow them. We will follow the light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So we follow his footsteps. We go wherever he goes. Wherever he stops, we stop there. Yes, protocol was broken because yes, God was involved. Amen. Protocol was broken. And I decree upon many here yeah, who are expecting protocol will be broken for your own sake in the mighty name of Jesus. It's something that she didn't even see it coming in that way. As she said, she did not prepare for that. The man did not prepare for that. They did not plan towards that. Just at the, at the, within some hours towards the, the, let me say, let me put it, engagement. We did, things, the program was changed. And after the whole thing, they don't say, how? Why did you do this? Why did you now to perform this? That is the way, that is the way God's work. When God is working, you, don't, you will not know how to, to handle it. It's God that will direct you on how to go about it. So it is a very good testimony. It is a great one that God took control of, the, of everything. And allowed it Amen. to work according to his own, his own way. So all glory to God. Amen. All glory Amen. to God. All glory, all Amen. thanks, thanks to God for doing this great and mighty things. Yes, Amen. this is just the surface, and I can say she's just scratching the surface. She will still a time will come that she will. She will, will go deeper into this testimony. And when the, the other party that involved is around as well. So we will really go deeper. So you understand what it means. What it means. On this platform comes this with God's agreement. Because if God did not agree, it wouldn't have happened on this from this platform. So it's, it's something that we, we, we are thanking God for, and we will continue to thank God that God has let it happen. It did not just happen, but God sealed it up. Yes, God sealed it 
for 18 years that you will not marry, but God break it from this platform. So I don't know how many years is your own, but God will surely break it in the mighty name of Jesus. And also I want you to understand, she was, she understand where the problem was coming from. Many of us here, if they tell you where your problem is coming from, you will say, no, I don't believe it. You don't believe. And that is where the problem is. Because if you don't believe, how will you be able to fight? Many of us, we are being, the, the, the battle we are fighting is from us, is from our household. You cannot just walk on the street, then somebody decided to fight you, to pick up a fight with you. So somebody will not just pick up a fight with you while you were passing him or her back. It must be someone, someone that you have related with, someone that you are close with, is someone that will rise up to, to start a battle with you. So every battle that you are facing, before you look outward, make sure that you look around you. Then when you look around, you treat it according to, accordingly so that you will have victory. If you don't treat it accordingly, you will not have victory. It is in, in, in so many occasions, it is the, the one inside that will go and invite those one outside to come. So you should be careful when you are in a, in a situation. You have been in this situation for, for a very long time. Look inward, look inward. Look your surrounding, look your surrounding. And you will see, the Lord will open your eyes to see. And when the Lord opened your eyes to see, don't take it as one of those things. Because no situation, there is no situation that God will not open your eyes to see. The only thing is that we don't believe it. We don't take it serious. That is, the, that is why in many, in many cases that we will continue to dwell in that same spot because we don't, since we don't want to, to tackle the problem. And that makes it difficult. It will now look as if prayer is not working. Prayer is working. For 18 years, if that kind, I don't know how we put it, whether it was oath or it was a cause or whatever name the person might have put it, but that that issue, that, that, that issue, that circumstances was broken. And in your own case, you will not be an exception. So we thank God, we are happy, and we are increasing in number. So I'm still looking towards that direction. I think I'm going to pack, I will pack as many as possible to my side, to Nigeria. <laughs> So I'm still looking. I'm looking. So, so behave because I'm looking. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. <laughs> I'm looking around. I will take as many as possible. So I thank God for what God has done. And I pray for you that what the Lord has started, it will not stop halfway in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as you testify today, they will not by any means come close to what God has already started in the mighty name of Jesus. They did not succeed before, they will not succeed again in the mighty name of Jesus. They did not succeed when they started, they will not succeed now in the mighty name of Jesus. God will bless and bless, God will continue to bless the marriage God will make the marriage successful. God will, the marriage will continue. It will, it, it will never be what they will celebrate. We on this side, we are celebrating. As we continue to celebrate, they will continue to decry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As he they sweet Amen. us, he they pain them. He pain them. <laughs> yes. In the sweet house. <laughs>
He they pain them. He they pepper them. Mm. We thank God. We bless your holy name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for standing there. It was there. a miracle, and indeed it was a miracle. <laughs> and we know why the miracle stand. The miracle, the miracle will continue. Amen. Daddy, I also want to say something. Yes. Like I was saying that most of the time we pray, we think that the enemy is leaving us. Mm. Because like the prophecy always came. And the man was so reluctant. But when he landed the shores of Cameroon, he told me, these two years, I've been seeing you as a 70 years old woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me, he was just like, it was like somebody like, God is just a miracle. But it was like, somebody who is just coming, let me come and see this person. Because like, I was just like, maybe the prophecy has come too much, too much. Let me just come. He was like, he was coming reluctantly. Because he knows that this is a 70 years old woman. Why are you telling me your age is this? And I am always seeing you 70 years. Just imagine. It was, I don't even know how to even say it. You know, as I was saying, I said there is a deeper part mm -hmm. even of the testimony that this is just this, the service, as I was saying. So there's a deeper part, you know, he, he said it, he said it very clear that when she met you, it was not the person that she used to see even when she called on phone and that way, or she see on the broadcast, it was a different person entirely. So when we, sometimes when you hear that, when, when you hear that, okay, somebody has been masked, that the, 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 these people have put a mask on you. That's why you are not being seen, or somebody will see you instead for the, if the person cannot come close to you. Because what the person is seeing you is not what you see yourself. So that's why the scripture said, lean not onto what you lean not onto your own understanding. That one which you say you know, that is not really exactly. It's not the, 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 the situation. Just follow God because it's only God that can lift that mask. And when the mask was removed, what happened? It was like, eh, I don't want to even go. I tell you, the date was extended. <laughs> he extended the, the days, the days was extended. So, so that is God. What are we saying? The mask was removed and he confirmed it. If you tell me, you know, if you if tell me, he drop it in language. He said, man, this is not the person I used to see. It's a different thing entirely. I said, go ahead. He said, he said, he said, he will brief me later. I said, go ahead. No wala. And he moved ahead. And the way he was sounding, I said, okay, I know everything is good. He was sounding very happy. So I don't know. Your own situation, you will say somebody will come to you, and before you know it, the person has run away. <laughs> you need to pray hard, you need to align yourself, you need to walk in this light. You see this month of light walking in the light. You need to really, you, you, you need to really align yourself. Forget about every other thing. Forget it. Forget it. Let it be that you have allowed yourself allowed yourself to be to be aligned with the light of the world not according to your own understanding you always do everything according to your own, own understanding sometimes you will you will say uh, this is how we used to do things or in my church this is how we do things when a prophecy comes you will say no this is not what we used to do in my place, this is not how we used to do. But the will of God is quite different. What the Lord says is different from what we are thinking of. Do not just continue to worry yourself for nothing. <laughs> if you say, I have so much to tell us, I will tell you when the time comes. 
I have I have them in stock. Yes. I have them. So we thank God we bless the name of the Lord. Honestly, it is a thing of joy. It is a thing that we need to celebrate. If for a we we're supposed to even declare a whole week for celebration. But I know that will happen. That one will happen at the right time. Amen. Are you not happy? Are you not happy to hear this testimony? Is it not? Is it not nice? Or is it? See, when the the day that the Lord turned to the captivity, it was to them like as if they were dream. It was like a dream to them. It was like a dream. So it was just let me go and it, it was a kind of just a, a meeting, first meeting, because it was uh, before it was all about on the phone. The first meeting, let us meet one on one so that we can just discuss. Let me see. I believe it was let me see the person I have used to talk with. Let me see. But when 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 it gets the everything changed, and even when he returned home, he said, I have married, I have completed my marriage. They say, ah, what are you talking about? Is that how they used to, to marry? But the will of God, things of God is too different. The way it happens, even his own people were baffled. He himself was baffled how it happened. She was baffled. The, the enemies, the camp of the enemy, they did not know. Let me tell you, let me tell you one other thing. Let me tell you one other thing. He was covered. He was covered that on he gets to that place, the witches, even when they even when they have announced there that he's coming, they were looking, they used their antenna to scan the atmosphere. They didn't see him because he was covered, well covered. They didn't see him. He gets to that very place, they did not even know him that he's the one. She can tell you. <laughs> they did not know that they, they were thinking the person he came with was the one. So when the person now they said, Your mission, tell us what you came here for. When the person stood up, it was like everywhere. Sister Ma was there. She can tell you the tension that was in that people, that our father that very day. Everywhere was like these people were jumping. They, this one was saying, No, no. My mother stood up and said, He cannot stand. <laughs> So this is the man. We thought it's this guy. So they had waited. <laughs> my mother said he cannot stand. Then my brother was like, she has brought in her happiness is the highest. My mother was like, how did you cajole all my children to your side? I just told her one thing. I came in the volume of the books. Hallelujah. I just entered into my room and I slept. Because every time she was like, she wants us to be fighting. When I went, the light in my room was not functioning. So my brother said, I want to put the light in this room. I told him, no, I don't want the light. Because she, I know that if there is light, she will always come there. She was complaining to my brother's wife that I am always sleeping. Anytime she wants to talk to me, I'm always on my bed. I will cover my blanket right on my head. She was like, she's always sleeping. She doesn't want to talk to me. I was like, oh God, help me. Because as I am like this, I'm already in the lion den like this. Only like Daniel will I be saved because it was, it was just on every side. I was led by the Holy Spirit to get my mother this rapper. I got it. She said I got her. She did not tell me. She said, don't buy me dress because I anointed it with salt. She said, don't buy me dress. I have a lot. I told her, give the old ones to your grandchildren to be sewing their dresses and start keeping new ones. She took it like this from me, the plastic like this, and she threw it. Then she went to my brother's wife and told her, everything that this Mirabe is giving me is very hot. That everything that since I came, everything I'm giving her is hot. That she don't want any gifts from me. Even as she was complaining of even the medicine I got to her, she took it and she packed it in one bag beside her bed. She's not even taking it. Anything that came from me, no. And me, I made sure that I don't eat. If, they cook food as my brother's wife is finished cooking. 
I will eat then. And after that, no, I don't eat again. I was just like very careful. I was in short, they, God was just really directing me because there was just so much that was happening in one day. One day was like 72 hours to me. And you just imagine at my age, my mother locked me out of the house. At this my age. <laughs> it became so strong. She locked me out of the house and I had to sleep outside. That if I, this is her husband's house. She has a right here. I was like, I did not fight. So when I told mommy that I was locked outside, she said, and you stayed quiet. I told mommy that it was even better. She wanted me to get angry. And the next day was Sunday, it was communion service. If I had got angry, I wouldn't have attended my communion service. Maybe I would have overslept. Thank God I slept outside. I went and got my everything and put it beside me. So I was able to do my communion service. She didn't want me to do this communion service because she would have made me angry and I would have hit the door. I would have get angry and maybe I would have slept off. But I slept outside. I slept outside. Just imagine my age. I am sleeping outside. <laughs> Everywhere. It was a wonderful story, in fact. It's an experience that many of us cannot even, we cannot, uh, if they give us the, you know, it's good as we are hearing the story like this, but perhaps many of us wouldn't have been able to go through this kind of uh, experience. It's, she was locked out, she slept, but she didn't fight because she, God was on, this, on the matter. And when God is on the matter and you listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying, when he tells you, calm down, you calm down. So the time he will tell you, fight, you, you know where to fight, where you will stand and fight, not just coming to make empty noise. She didn't do that because they will pass through the noise. You want to quarrel to respond to them like that? No, she knows where she was responding to her and that makes everything to be hot. In fact, we have every reason to say thank you, Lord. For God to make everything that you were giving her to be on fire. That means you too, if you align yourself, when they say give and you give, everything will be on fire. And they will do what? They will bow. At the end, imagine a mother telling the daughter that you cannot marry. So whether they were using her as a collateral in for her own purpose that 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 collateral has been broken that this thing has been overruled i think that is the right word <laughs> so anything you know you said you want to marry she said no she raised objection no wonder the the issue of that overrule come god said we should treat overrule like that so she raised objection said no you cannot marry and what happened? God said, objection, overrule. And that was the end. <laughs> I decree upon your life every objection, every objection raised by your enemy to hinder you from getting your blessing be overruled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. That's how they are doing. The blessings will come. Marriage will come. They will say, you cannot marry. Job will come. And for many of you, anybody that is here that has not, that has been looking for job for more than how many, for how many months now, you should write. You should tell me after this, send me a message that I've been looking for a job for the past three months, or past six months. Let us, we have to visit, revisit that case again. Why? Because you're not supposed to stay that long. That means there is something that is, we, go, we will have to check uh, uh, as around you whether there is uh, uh, any, anything that is eating, eating that blessing up. We have to, to look around you. Anyone here, you have been looking for a job for, for more than three months and you still no job, send down the message. We need to treat that matter 
whatsoever is around you that hinders you from getting that job is better that person die you know what you know what 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 jesus christ uh, uh, what jesus told uh, judas he said it, it would have been better for you not to have been born than for you to come and betray me so it would have been better that you are you are dead than for you to be alive and be doing all these things i think we need to put a sword there let the sword begin to cut and let the person jump out let the person jump out so that we will see you have been hiding perhaps you have been hiding they have been hiding for so long it is time that we just put a little fire let the let the you know when you put fire the rats all the rats will run out let them begin to run out so that we will see and anyone that runs out we bruise their head because the bible has given us the power and the authority to bruise their head we will bruise their head without wasting time we will bruise their head yes this testimony is not yet complete we will continue to share this testimony amen so i lift you up into the hands of the lord god almighty as you share this testimony the blessing testimony will not cease in your life in your home in the mighty name of jesus i lift your husband into the hands of the lord that the lord god almighty will continue to empower him will strengthen him will give him that which is needed in the mighty name of jesus amen amen, amen. you know he never show us the husband where <laughs> she will show us the husband and she will as well the husband when the husband comes she will, the husband will show us the the way. you know i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing that's why i'm not talking concerning that side now much <laughs> i'm just leaving that side <laughs> that's why i'm saying that this testimony will continue amen thank you so much god bless you our prophetess god bless you real good you know it is amen. It, it will have been very amen. wrong that for you to be a, a, a prophetess then who say the, uh, that prophetess is not married uh, it, it will have it will have been incomplete but god has to bless you to the level whereby it will fill up whatsoever they will have used as an excuse to mock you god is just just cover it up he said guess all odds god just take care of that situation so Amen. we will continue to thank God for your life. We thank God for your life. We thank God for what God is doing Amen. for in Brenda World Outreach. It will continue. It will not cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Amen. I want someone to make this prayer point. I want I want someone to make this declaration. You know, she, in her testimony, she said her mother said that she would not get married. That others can, whether her younger sister can marry, if there is no one can marry, others in the family can marry, but you cannot marry. You know, that just tell me something. Perhaps there is anyone that is saying that you, your own might be good health. They might say that everybody can be in good health, but you will not be in good health. You cannot be in good health. That every other person can be rich in the family, that you cannot be rich in the family. It might be that every other, it can be marriage as well. It, 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 it will not, I'm not just talking to the ladies again, alone. There are some men that are struggling to get married, yet they will not be able. Perhaps there is someone that is saying that everybody, all men can marry in the family, but this particular man will not marry. Perhaps there is a man or a woman that is speaking towards your own, that you can, everybody can pass, that you will not pass that exam. It can be that everybody can work and be able to save, that no matter how much you are earning as, as no matter how high, or how huge 
the amount that you are earning every month is that you will not be able to make any saving. It can be anything. So we are, we are going to pray. Whosoever. Whosoever, from anywhere, be it from, be it from within, be it from outside, that has made a foul, that I will not prosper, that I will not get married, that I will not move ahead. You know your situation. You know the, your situation more than me. So that particular situation, perhaps you are honest that you will not be able to build. Perhaps your own might be that you will marry, that your wife will not stay. Or you will marry, your husband will not stay. It is time that you make this declaration. Whosoever that's taking a farm, that this particular issue will happen in my life. Father, today, overrule that decision, overrule that file, destroy. Let this scatter that file, scatter every word that they have made, scatter whatsoever cause that they have made, destroy it as it is written in my, in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, that though they will surely plan it, in, but it will not come to pass. Let it not come to pass. Let it not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Let it not come to pass in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every foul that they, every demonic agreement that they have made upon me, that they have made over my life, let it not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Whatsoever the enemy has planned in my life, whatsoever the enemy has planned over my life, whatsoever they have planned towards me and my family, whatsoever they have planned towards me and my ministry, whatsoever they have planned towards you and your job, whatsoever they have planned towards you, even your future that you will not arise, you will not come out to become anything in life. Today, let God destroy those things in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God destroy every, all plan, all plot, evil plot against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God scatter them, them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy their work, destroy their plan, destroy their plans in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy their plans in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy their plans in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray once again. I'm going to Psalms 3. Psalms 3 says, it said there are many. The number is increasing. They are doing what? They are saying that even, they are praying that even in God that I will not have help. Whosoever that is saying that I will not have help, even in God, even as I am in God that I will not have help. Let the fire of God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, many are they who say to me, there is no help for him in God. They are specifically saying that there is no help for him in God. Whosoever is making this pronouncement, let the fire of God destroy that fellow in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever is making this such pronouncement, saying that in God I will not find help, let the fire of God consume them. Let the Lord God Almighty scatter them, destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God. Oh Oh Lord my God, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Every evil utterances, every evil utterance against my against my family, against my business, against my job. Father, tonight, destroy them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, Lord. Rakateha, Laduda Bakasiaya, Rakashiaya, Kalabaka Suntayara, Rakakaya. La Kakaya, Rabata, Zegele Brataya, in the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oof. Let their plan come to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, let their plan come to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, destroy all their plans in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy them all. Destroy them, Lord. Destroy them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you with this word as it is written in this Matthew chapter 6. He said, do not worry about anything. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of yourself. Then as you align yourself with the light of the world, all issue, all problem of yours, don't worry about them. The Lord God Almighty is taking care of them. I said the light of the world is taking care, is taking over that situation, and it will treat it to your own advantage in the mighty name of Jesus. He will treat it to your own advantage in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, kings of kings. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody open your mouth and begin to thank God. Say, thank you, Father. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Lord, today. Thank you, kings of kings. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have done. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Every demonic arrow fired from the camps of the enemy, we return them back to sender. It will not harm anybody in this platform. It will not harm anybody in this platform in the mighty name of Jesus. Every premature death, every premature death, okay, straightened by whosoever, we scatter them, we scatter them, we destroy them in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen and amen in jesus mighty name amen that's where we are going to bring it to an end he said blessed be your holy day in jesus mighty name so for your testimony if you have your testimony please you send message along then we will act on it we will pray on it we will listen to your testimony and your testimony, I believe, will encourage one or two people to align proper with the light of the world. Thank you, and thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.